Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and this one is on my first pair for Invasion from Below, being of Evil Walker and Jobbies vs. Stormer from 2014, or early 2014, of course. <coughs> so on the front of the backs here, which, as you see this time around, I have kept the top part part of it, because which you'll see on the back, I have to figure out how to do so. But yeah. But on the front part of it, you see the two logos, Invasion from Below logo, and some quite nice graphic artwork related to them in the corners. And, and of course, picture of the sets that come within behind either New Metro City, Metro Metric City, or Maka Hero City, whichever one it was, whichever it is. You can see the names down below, and also the minifigs and jumpers that are included. And one of this one, which does include the warning on the bottom part when the other doesn't. Kind of odd how that is, but yeah. And then inside of which you see age group, set number, amount of pieces. And on the back side of which, you can see another picture and set that there is, and the features of it, and actual size of the, the whoops actual size of the minifig included and also the accessories for it and and of course saying resealable resealable like all the bags did and of course i was successful enough to keep the top part out but yeah and also interesting thing with the bags of this lot is nice artwork on the bottom part of it. Kind of similar to that, but it's in sort of black and whitish, you can say. But I say nice touch to this wave, but yeah. Oh, just a second. Now onto the instruction manuals, of which same pictures as oh, whoops, same pictures on from the bags and everything. And it's that this little comic strip of what's going on with Danielle and Capricorn there. And then on the back of which, add for the online, add for winning on the online survey. Last time, last wave of this with this version of it. And then out of herofactory.com with all the sets there in one position. Then add for a couple of combiner models that there were. And a couple more combiner models. And then another comic strip also related to the combiner models, of course. And the pieces that come with the set, of course, and the last step. So now on to of what is all new to Hero Factory at this moment in the series, mini figures, where the normal size heroes now uh, are now mini figs for this version, uh, which probably kind of close to how it was with Bonacle when they did with the play sets and whatnot. But at least with these versions, are these which are more regular mini fig related, of course. But yeah. So now some things about these mini figs is. As he just like past Fabuland minifigs fit onto four studs rather than two. And also, also do have a couple of bar connections to them, like in the back of the legs, and also, yeah, in the back of the legs, and also on their elbows, as you can see. But when we get one other set, doesn't do connect to the back of the legs, but yeah. 
and also do get this all new over chest plate piece which is which we also see on a couple of other minifigs in a color say one by one circular tile with the hero factory symbol in representing the quasi cores of course and also with in the two in case of these two being evo and stormer of course do you get a one by two tile here oh let me focus in okay which also has the hero factory symbol on it and some various writing of course so, which i think is quite interesting and of course can hold any and of course the hand piece part of it does hold anything by the rod but definitely can't fit anything with a reverse stud on it like a normal minifigure but yeah and also a good touch on them on these is that i take the regular helmet pieces off of course and also have regular minifigure heads so different than the bonicle ones of course and just completely plain to that like kind of on and whatnot and if i take the armor bit off and has the regular skeleton armor piece which no, which i am guessing is probably kind of like that of to represent the uh regular torso bit of ccbs skeleton that the normal size heroes have but yeah and also with this armor bit which you can use with custom figs is that and if you wonder what this sticking out rod bit is for well which we'll see in a moment or see later on but yeah so as for evo in particular that the helmet bit of which quite close to that of evo uh brain attacks and breakouts of course so with the venting and whatnot yeah and as for stormer of which since he holding the traditional uh spear from castle lines of course and also his helmet piece quite close to that of traditional stormer of course but of course it's now small in mini fixed eyes and all and of course a regular blue uh head piece yes oh it's quite suiting to him and so now if for a little size comparison and now just to compare it is with a regular minifigure or of which this clone trooper is which as you can see of which minus the helmet which as you can see they're just about like a head taller or, than the minifigs than regular minifigs but also not sure if it's me but if a person got to meet a hero factory hero character would this these be the size i'm pretty sure it will be but also if you like put this helmet piece on then not sure if you can notice but at least the eyes kind of match up with that so you can definitely use it for like uh, custom figs that are characters that are dressing up as the hero factories but yeah so and i guess that is it with these two figs and also uh, hang on a sec And now also included, but just with Evil Walker, is three of the jumper bits, which are common in most of these sets. But whereas for the minifigs we just looked at, are quite seen in, well, Evil which seen in just a couple other sets, and Stormer in this first wave, just two sets, of course. But whereas for these jumper bit figs, they which kind of close to that of the mini viscerax in Bonacle, of course. But instead of like one whole piece, they're just rather three separate pieces with tan bit to it. So kind of interesting how that is. But of course, the top bit of it, which you can definitely use in mocking if you you kind of wanted. But yeah. And not so for the main one of the main features of them is. If I like press on their butt and they fling right up. Oh, it's very fun, of course. And of course, but all of this said in particular, 
one that comes with some of the most of which, so probably to get you a head start in making a bunch of jumpers, but yeah. And now onto the evil walker itself, of which quite simple. Oh, well, made with very few CCBS pieces, of course. Oh, hang on. Okay, so, as you can see, and also for the front legs of which, same exact limb pieces like we had uh, with Aquagon year prior, of course. And also various few pieces, like one of those that were introduced with Stormer XL, and I guess also Dragon Bolt year prior. But nice to see it here, for in even a small cheap set, of course. And also a few pieces as well then and also get three of the size 5 armor pieces but in yellow nice to have and although one side of which does have the traditional mini fig uh, saw blade of course and for the front launcher which does have the traditional blaster that or blaster pieces that we have seen been seeing a lot since breakout of course and you of course can fire off like so and also on top part of which is another size 5 armor piece but with some interesting printing on it with the hero factory symbol and a scratch mark but not an actual scratch mark but it's just printed on it that but so kind of interesting how it is but definitely one that you can use in where for for mocking of like either more other hero battle machines like this, or on actual heroes, or whatever, but yeah. And on to the cockpit pieces, which are fully t detachable, which you can use as like ejection seats and all. But of course, this the front cockpit piece we have seen, do see a lot in system, of course. And I think this whole cockpit piece exclusive to this line, of course. And you see some stickers on it, and they are oftentimes labeled specifically for any hero of which. And also you get the uh, Exoforce hand pieces as uh, controls, of course. And what the uh, rod in there connects to that hole there. And of course can flip these up, and he can like start controlling it. And closes nicely around them, of course. And yeah. Oh, and as for articulation on him on this one, a uh, plenty good amount of it, like full rotating turret, and only three points for each leg, of course, or at least, and one for the back one, which so kind of all right for that, but yeah. And that is it with the evil walker, and now on to jaw beast. Uh, which is the smallest of this wave, of course. Well, and of course, same with like Tumblr Beast in the following summer wave, of course. But now, how he is, uh, which as his color scheme, quite interesting, as it's like mostly black with some purple, light blue, and translucent blue with a little bit of gray. So, quite interesting how that is. So, like. He, which probably first time in Hero Factory seeing clear armor or clear limb pieces, which we see later on with Invasion from Below Wave 2, and of course, the same with most of Bonkle Generation 2, of course. And also, Invasion from Below, of course, was the first series of which to use these foot pieces, which carry on to like all the protectors and element creatures in Generation 2 Bionicle, of course, and they have which done quite nicely with a few connector points on them and also uh, little rot bits to put their different things onto, of course, and for the little legs in which, although I think would have been nice if they were the longer limb pieces, but whatever. And also a size 3 armor piece and also you get 
around five of these uh, little spike pieces in purple. Nice for mocking, and also for his chest plate, of which just a size four armor piece, but I think could have been better if it was size five, but whatever. Or maybe that would cut his neck movement, or, or whatever. And it does also have a full chest plate piece, but for the back, of for whatever reason, but not sure. And also, do you get a small little tail bit with that new piece that is also used for the hands. And moving on to the arms, so you have a couple more, another one of those pieces, and some more of that. And also, another purple spike there, and also these all new, uh, foot-like pieces for the hands, which, as you can see, they're just about like uh, original Viserac uh, foot pieces in Bonacle, from Bonacle, of course, but not at all any Technic holes or pin holes, instead an axle rod put into it, so quite interesting for that, and of course, we have seen these a lot afterwards in different coloring, but yeah. And as for the head fit, which, as you can see, which we do see a lot in the Invasion from Below series, of course. But his in particular, in a nice purple color, and also is on uh, two ratchet joint bits. Kind of like what the uh, Chima Cragger figures once had, and that also that. Some of the Beast sets have it like this kind of way, and others have it upside down like that. But whereas for the printing for his orangish eyes, quite interesting, quite nice, and whatnot, yeah. And, and if you're wondering, is can the spear fit into his mouth? Like on the box cover? Uh, not really. Unless if you broke it off like that. Oh, hang on. One second. Let me get it all together. the final verdict. Uh, hang on. Okay. So overall, these I think are quite good sets for the times. Like, like for John Beast, you get plenty of purple to it, and also the first time I've seen translucent uh, bone pieces in a CCBS figure, and although nice to good to include Stormer in a small cheap set, of course, and Evil Walker, which Good to see a few use, good uses of pieces, of course, and also nice to see a few jumpers in a small cheap set. So, of course, if you weren't able to get some any of the other sets, well, this would have been like a good sampler of that, of the little jumpers, of course, but yeah. And also, the like size for price, quite fair and whatnot. Although I think Jobbies could have had some extra bits to him, but maybe that would have been too much, but yeah. And so now if y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.